What is going on my broskies? My name is Totski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. So today uh, finally went live with the Limit Break Stampede Raid Boss. So in this video today, we're actually going to be going ahead and breaking it down for you guys. Uh, we've just got to say this straight out. It's not a very difficult island. It's actually quite simple. Um, but this is where you can go ahead and drop these Limit Break Crystals down at the bottom. These are specific and you have to use them to Limit Break the Raid Boss characters that were available in this island. So I won't go through them now, but basically all the characters that were available, the, the dual Kid and Killer, the Hawkins and Bonnie, Yurog and X Drake, Capone and Apu, those are the four characters that you need these Limit Break Crystals for. The Bato and Cavendish and the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, Warple and Foxy, those units actually don't Limit Break, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, so you need to run this quite a few times. I think it'll take you probably around 20 clears in order to get all the Limit Break Crystals, maybe more or less, depending depending on your luck and your drops. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to be running two different teams in this video. We're going to go through it first, breaking down with an EXP team, um, and it's going to be relatively straightforward with that. We'll go through it. It will take us a little bit of time because we will have to stall. And then following that, we'll go ahead and like just speed blitz it with a carrot team just to show you guys how easy you can do it with just a regular team. It doesn't really matter what you bring. You can run, you know, your, your Neptunes or your Jack, depending on your situation. And if you want to like stall for EXP, this is the team that we're going to be using against uh, this raid. So let's go ahead and uh, and jump into it. All right, so getting things started here on stage one and stage two, very similar to the other raid that came out previously. Um, it's just a uh, way you can go ahead and take your time to stall. So this is what we're going to be doing. And as I said, if you guys can clear the 40 stamina version of the original raid, you should be able to clear this without too many problems. Um, honestly, in terms of like the utility, the debuffs and stuff, it's a lot easier compared to the older one. But the thing is, is comparing this one to the original one that came out, there is just a big final boss stage that you will have to take on. The final boss doesn't really do that much, uh, aside from the fact that he uh, he is quite tanky. He does have a relatively high amount of HP. It's not like crazy, but uh, all you need to do is make sure you have enough damage to kill him, and that's basically it. You know, there isn't really many utility things you really need to worry about. I'm going to be stalling just to make sure that our specials are ready for when we need them, just in case, just in case. Um, you can see we're running the Blackbeard Raid Boss on this team. That can be quite important. We'll talk about that in the next stage but on stage two you actually can encounter this this is the hidden stage with the rainbow lobster so make sure to go ahead and, and hold up these uh, rainbow lobsters because the thing is is these rainbow lobsters are used to actually evolve a lot of characters down the line so if you do pick up these lobsters make sure to conserve them people were also asking in the comment section you know uh, even if you don't pick them up now do you still get them later and the answer is yes if you do not pick them up they will be uh, put into the lobster island um, if I do you know have that right pretty sure that's correct they'll be put into the lobster island so you know in the future if you if you need them you can go ahead and farm them up uh, hopefully they arrive in the Rayleigh's Bazaar as well but stage three is one of the first mini boss stages we have Eurog and X Drake once again and Hawkins and Bonnie Eurog has 800,000 and uh, Hawkins has 500,000 HP the main thing you really know need to know here is that Hawkins and Bonnie, if they're left alive after the first turn, they put up a one turn damage immunity shield, which is why we have Blackbeard on this team. If we are unable to kill Eurogan X Drake and Hawkins and Bonnie on turn one, we can just use the Blackbeard special on the following turn to remove the damage shield. And that's basically it. So let's go ahead and take our time here and hopefully do as much damage as we possibly can. It doesn't look like we're gonna kill. It might be close. There we go. So if you stall for the orbs in uh, the previous two stages, you were able to carry some matching orbs into that stage, which makes it a lot easier. So the next stage is Capone and uh, Apu, and also the um, the Kid and Killer. So the thing that you need to know here, Kid has 650,000 HP, Capone has 500,000 HP, and they apply the three turns of end of turn damage and 98 turns of an immunity buff, and that's basically it. They don't really do too much. They will basically just attack you every turn, so nothing really too crazy. So let's go ahead and do some regular taps and then when we are ready we're going to go ahead and switch over to the other side get some quick orb damage on these guys kill them off and now we've got the uh, Apu and Capone to deal with. You can see they don't really do too much damage here. The end of turn damage does get inflicted, but again, like they're, they're just very, very weak. You don't really need to, uh, you know, 
be too careful. You can just go ahead and just smack them with some regular orbs and damage. It's really not that bad. But then the final boss stage is going to be against Douglas Bullet. So Douglas Bullet is going to be arriving as the main boss. He has 4 million HP. He will go ahead and remove your beneficial effects. He also has 98 turns of an immunity buff. And he will apply an increased damage taken buff on your team as well. And he also does some damage. And that's basically it. Uh, after the first turn of attacks, if you don't kill him, he will apply an attack up buff to himself. And he does do that every two turns. And below 20%, he will actually deal 99% of your crew's HP. And he'll have one turn of a rainbow shield. And he enrages as well. So it's quite annoying. You basically want to... Make, try and make sure that you can kill him off in the first turn of attacks but again even if you don't he really doesn't hit that hard we're going to use the two jacks to just cut his health if you're using neptune that is still fine as well because neptune um, is also a powerhouse unit or a striker unit which works well with the Colosseum Neko that we have on our team to give us a type boost um, but also the, the rare recruit Neptune is a 20% health cutter so you can use him as well uh, does the same thing as Jack here uh, we're going to go ahead and use the uh, Luffy special to go ahead and give us the color affinity boost and a pretty sizable amount of damage and then on top of that we can go ahead and activate the Colosseum Neko special to give us a full board of orbs give us a type boost to the powerhouse and striker characters and at this point we can just go ahead and attack attack and basically win very very simply very very simply there with a double exp team now obviously the double exp team is not the fastest team in the game we will be going through a much faster team in a minute but you can see that when he uh, is actually killed he will revive but he just runs away which is fine you don't really need to worry about that too much now he does have a chance to drop rainbow chests rainbow chests are what you want because they give you the black orbs which are good for the limit breaking of course i believe you need 16 of them to limit break all of the characters in this raid um and you do need quite a lot of the fragments and you need a lot of the crystals but for the orbs i think you only need like 16 of them i think because I, I think you need four of them per character and there's four of them so 16 so there we go that's the first run through with the double jack team so let's go ahead and mix mix things up here with uh with a carrot team instead which is going to be much more efficient so let's go ahead to the crew pick up the carrot team you can see we do have stampede lore on the team but it's fine the, all these characters are free to play as subs obviously carrot is not free to play but the subs we are using are free to play as i said you don't really need to worry too much it is a pretty straightforward island as long as you have the just the damage in order to kill him that's basically it you can just run like a, a, a carrot friend captain and that's pretty much good enough you can see we have the raid zora as a support here just to give our slasher characters a color affinity so just carrot gets additional damage on the final boss stage so without further do let's jump into it you can see we're also running the um the summer smoothie we have also the uh, raid rayleigh we also have the dual unit magellan and hannibal just some random free to play characters that i decided to chuck on but basically we've got one of every attribute and that's pretty much it so with the double carrot specials uh not specials but the captain abilities as well as the host ship we get a bunch of cooldown here which is fine uh especially when you go all the way through by the time we reach the boss stage all of our specials will be ready except for magellan and hannibal that one will be a little bit close but everyone else should be pretty much good to go unfortunately attacking with smoothie there was not very successful in killing that turtle but not really a big issue so moving on stage two here i mean another another type of team that work would work really well here would be like a v2 akano team v2 akano would be really really good because his end of turn damage would just do so much damage to bullet as long as you have some sort of boosting effect if you stall for his special or you're on another character with relatively low cooldowns to give you some boosts that's basically all you need because there's no real defensive effects you have to remove there's no like paralysis despair or bind or special bind that you have to remove you, you basically just just auto playing through it like it's, it's pretty pretty self-explanatory here Let's go ahead and do some damage. Unfortunately, didn't hit too well there. Rally with type advantage. Unfortunately, didn't kill. Got him below 20%, but that's fine. We're going to take a little bit of damage. Not really a big issue there. So let's go ahead and just try and shuffle our orbs around. Try and get a little bit better orbs. And then we're going to move on to the stage four, which is going to be against Kid Killer and also Apu and Capone. Once again, nothing really too crazy. We can actually use the uh, we can use the carrot special here if we really wanted to. I think I probably will. Not really going to be too much of a problem because we can just use carrot on the final boss stage as well. So that's just going to give us an all boost here, and we can just do regular taps. Boom, 
Boom. Very, very straightforward. So you shouldn't really be worrying too much. And I would suggest to farm this up and uh, and rainbowing out all of these free-to-play characters. They're not the most amazing characters in the game, but it's kind of nice to just have them rainbowed out. Some of them have some pretty interesting abilities. I know that Kid and Killer, I was reading their one, um, they will have a 90% chance of 5% extra damage with their critical hit chance, which is actually pretty interesting. It's pretty good. Um, so at this point, let's go ahead and use the Rayleigh special to go ahead and give us the type boost. And then we can go ahead and use Carrot to give us the orb boost. We already have a color affinity boost. Uh, and at this point, we're pretty much good to go. Pretty much good to go. Boom, there we go. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. And as I said, if you know, even if you don't have carrot yourself, with a carrot friend captain and utilizing characters with the right classes, you're not going to really have any issues with this raid whatsoever. But that's pretty awesome. So hopefully you guys now understand what to expect in this Limit Break Island. Uh, it is going to be here for quite a while. I would suggest maxing these characters out before the treasure map comes out because uh, those characters are going to be boosted in the treasure map. So it's definitely useful to have them, uh, you know, completely maxed out, which is nice. Or at least get a lot of copies ready for the skill up because I believe skill up goes live around the same time as when the treasure map goes live. So make sure to at least get these guys ready to go because it is probably worth it. Some of them have some pretty unique special abilities as well. But anyways, this is going to end the video here, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. And if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.